Hello YouTube, I'm Wes the Craft Beer Geek and welcome to another Craft Beer Geek beer review as we have been doing. We're doing all Christmas beers all the month of December, every Wednesday and Saturday night. Those reviews go up, so stay tuned. Uh, tonight we have, of course, another Christmas beer. This is from Brasserie du Bisson. Don't know exactly where they're out of, but this is a Belgian style ale, so it says product of Belgium on it, so I guess they're in, in, somewhere in Belgium. Uh, this is their Scaldus Noel. It's a red ale, comes in at 12% alcohol by volume and uh, 330 milliliter bottle, 11.2 fluid ounces. Uh, I believe I paid around $6 for this bottle, I'm not exactly sure. Um, it just says, brewed especially for the Christmas period, Scaldus Noel is a brilliant red amber ale that will delight the most demanding connoisseurs. I don't know if I said this, but this is 12% alcohol by volume. So quite a strong beer. So get to, let's get this one cracked open into the glass and see what it's all about. I've been looking forward to this one all day long. It's been a long day. Okay, so the Scaldus Noel does pour out a brownish red color, had about a one finger head on it. Uh, dissipated somewhat, but there's a little bit of a uh, sort of a tan head stink sticking around on it. Let's see what the aroma is like on this one. Definitely get a very traditional Belgian ale scent on here. Um, you know, that sort of a slightly barnyard, a little bit of hay, a little bit of old sort of wet wood kind of smell. Um, does have a bit of a bite on the nose, bit a bit of a sharp sort of alcohol note on the nose, just but just very slight. So I guess that'll do it for the aroma. Let's go ahead and see what the taste is like. Cheers if you're drinking along. Okay, right up front that has sort of a medium body to it. Uh, not as heavy as I expected it to be. Uh, it's just just sort of nice, sort of between medium and heavy, uh, but it's not as heavy as, as you would expect being 12%. Um, I do get a lot of nice fruity kind of notes on here, some pear. I'm trying to place it some some really light, lighter, on the dark fruits on the lighter side, uh, kind of like a, a white raisin almost kind of flavor. A little bit of a caramel sweetness to it. There we go, that's better, forgot my hat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still getting those, those sort of fruity flavors. Like I said, a little bit of a pear flavor, a little bit of a like a white grape kind of flavor. Um, I'm getting kind of a uh, peppery kind of note a little bit. Uh, very, very sharp, very, very peppery is the best way I can describe it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the review on this beer. This is kind of a, a slow drinking kind of beer. It's gonna take me a while to finish it. Uh, pretty strong beer, but it can give you a pretty good idea of, of what I think about it. Uh, really interesting beer. Definitely something I would recommend maybe pairing with like some 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 holiday type cookies, some 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 uh, maybe some gingerbread cookies or other kind of, of holiday spicy kind of cookies. I think it would work really well with. I just see this going with well with cookies for some reason. Um, it has a nice malty sweetness to it. You're getting those caramel notes. You're getting those fruit notes. You're getting some of that peppery, pepperiness, uh, some of that sharpness. It definitely has a sweet malty backbone to it. Uh, a really good beer, really tasty, really enjoyable, uh, really nice to drink. So for the Scaldus Noel from Brasserie de Boussillon, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Like this one quite a bit. Very tasty, very enjoyable. Definitely something to sort of sit back and savor, something that uh, you would want to enjoy, uh, something that would work well with some nice uh, spicy holiday kind of foods. It has has sort of those nice things that pair well and uh, will give you a nice thing to drink. So that's gonna do it for this review. As always, thank you for watching this episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more at craftbeergeek.com. Um, and if you'd like to support what I'm doing here, you can do that by using my Amazon.com shopping links. Anytime you're going to be doing any Amazon shopping, uh, get those last minute Christmas presents ordered before it's too late. 
You can do that in the show notes below on YouTube or on the right-hand side of the page on craftbeergeek.com. That'll take you right over to Amazon's front page. It'll be just like a normal shopping experience for you, uh, but I'll get a small commission from anything you buy. So thank you for that. Thank you for those of you already, who have already used that. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this episode of the Craft Beer Geek. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Please drink responsibly, and remember, I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.